What's up everyone, my name is Nagark. Welcome back to Nagark's Net Decks, where today I'm looking at a mech hunter that's really weird. It was posted on Reddit by Waskin Ordlaski. Ordlaski? You guys have some really weird names on Reddit, you need to stop that. But it has... Pretty much everything is 4 mana or less, or really 3 mana or less. Jeeves is kind of weird in there. But everything but Dr. Boom is 4 mana or less. And this deck costs, uh, I have the math here, 3880 dust, so it's it's relatively cheap. But there's target dummies, and I have a golden target dummy. I didn't even know that until just when I just made this deck. And Argent Squires, uh, Clockwork Gnomes and Cogmasters, Glaive Zooka to buff some of your weaker stuff. Quick shot, Anoyotrons, Haunted Creepers, uh, a couple of nice jugglers because you have a bunch of really cheap stuff to drop, Mech Warpers because you have a ton of mechs, Animal Companion because what hunter doesn't have Animal Companion, Unleash the Hounds, and a Hobgoblin. Whenever you play a 1 attack minion, give it two, plus 2 plus 2. Well, a lot of things here have 1 attack, except for these target dummies. God, I have no idea how this energy works on those, but... Metal Tooth Leaper, give your other mechs uh, plus two, Jeeves, draw some cards. So this is a really, really fast acting deck, so I'm just going to hop right into a game and see how it does and get some practice in with it, and who knows, maybe I'll have a new deck to play with on the ladder. Okay, so we are up against a Warlock right now. So, has two attack while you have a mech. That sounds pretty good to me, I think. I think I might actually keep all of this. That actually looks pretty good to me. Because I can play the Cogmaster turn one and then Anoyotron and then Cogmaster, maybe a uh, steady shot, maybe something else depending on what comes along. But it does give me the option to do some really cool things with the Anoyotron right away and be really, really annoying to this Warlock. Because there's, while there is a lot of aggro warlocks right now, there's also a lot of control warlocks. So I'm curious to see just how fast we can kill a control warlock. Okay, he's taking a sweet time. Usually an aggro warlock would have just dropped something, but... Oh, yep. Oh, this is going to be really nice against that. That's going to take it out. I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, so this is an Argent Squire is usually seen in a more controly warlock, I will admit. But... He... The whole thing about Hunter versus Warlock is that the Steady Shot really does a lot of damage to them because every time I do it, it's basically saying you have one less use of your hero power. And that's less cards that you can draw, and a lot of Warlock decks are very, very reliant on getting that card draw. I'm hoping to see a Hobgoblin relatively soon as well. Oh, there's a Knife Juggler, okay. Oh, he's hoping, and he did not get what he wanted. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I, I agree. You made mistakes. Ooh, we got a Glaive Zooka here. I don't want to risk that, though. I think what I'm going to do is Cogmaster. Ooh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get what I wanted either. So I think what we're going to do is we are actually going to trade into this and this. Because trading, even with Hunter, is still pretty good. Like, you... There are points that having favorable trades, even when you're trying to be a face hunter, is is a good option. And that was one of those times that if I didn't trade, he would have had really good trades on me. And now he doesn't have quite as good of trades on me. And next turn, I can have the Glaive Duke and do some cool things. Let's see what he's thinking. Another knife juggler. I am going to be able to take out his knife jugglers really early on in this game. Again, it hit the face. That's not at all what he wanted. So let's see what we're doing here. Three... Uh, well, I can't quite activate that, but what I am going to do is something like this. Oh, yeah, that's... That's pretty good. So now I have board control and... And... Oh my gosh, it's just going to be perfect. Whatever I draw, if it isn't Dr. Boom or Jeeves, I can play it and then quick shot. And that's really funny to know because everything is so cheap. Oh my gosh. That if it isn't Dr. Boom or Jeeves, I can actually do the quick shot and get a card draw. Which a lot of the times, the card draw is just a bonus. This is just a better hero power in card form. 
Oh, an egg, that doesn't really matter. Especially because I have the Glaive Zuka. And of course it's a Jeeves. Um, at the end of each player's turn, they draw until they have two car three cards. I'm not sure I want to give him that option, but I'm going to. Deal with it. I did it. Oh, some Haunted Creepers and Dr. Boom. So if this does get to a point where where things are looking really bad, I am going to have the Dr. Boom to follow up on him. And surprisingly, I haven't seen the Hobgoblin. The Hobgoblin would be pretty cool to see. Oh, there's a Defender of Argus, so he's probably going to attack my... No? I was going to say, you better attack that Knife Juggler, otherwise you're probably dead. And by probably, I mean you're most likely dead. There you go. That's what I was expecting. So let's see. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. And we know that... Oh, well, no, they're dead. You're dead. Sorry, bud. That is the joy of playing Hunter. It's as simple as that. So, that's pretty cool. I think I can show off one more game with this deck just because the game seems to go really fast. So I'm going to hop into another game really quick. Alright, we are up against another Warlock with this deck. Oh, we do have the Mech Warper this time as well, and I think this is going to be another really solid hand. I, I assume it's going to be pretty hard to not have a solid hand with everything costing three or less, really, except for a few choice cards, but I think I think this is going to be pretty good. There's so many ones, twos, and threes that it would be really hard to have a bad hand, in my opinion. So let's get this guy out. Because if he does play something, I will have the opportunity to trade if I choose to. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to. I think I'm going to end up Glaive Zookaing that. I think that's what my option is going to be, especially because I drew into the Hobgoblin. So if I play out the Hobgoblin and it doesn't die, then I can have a 3-4 Annoyatron. And that sounds, that sounds good to me. Oh, he had to use a soul fire, which got rid of the coin. I'm not super, not super impressed with that, but that means that he has one less thing to take out the hobgoblin. And if that hobgoblin doesn't go down, he's gonna be pretty unhappy. Ooh, ooh, yeah, that's that's gonna be a little bit tough for you. Sorry, bud. I'm gonna mech warper. I'm gonna do this, this, this. How are you feeling over here? Because that looks like you're in a pretty bad spot. That looks like you're in a pretty, pretty rough spot, Mr. Warlock. And I don't care that I don't have cards right now. I do not care. If he's playing the Flame Imp, then he probably doesn't have a whole lot of massive AoE. And that's what I'm basing these plays off of, is that he played that single, that one thing. And I'm like, he doesn't have a lot of AoE. Oh, there's my Dr. Boom. Not really impressed with that right now. I am going to trade. Friendly minion stealth until the next turn. Sure, we will give our Hobgoblin stealth, just in case. Also, if I get this Dr. Boom out, yeah, if I got that Dr. Boom out, there would be 3-3 three, three Boom bots. And that's what this deck does. I'm on a win streak because of this deck. I just, I want to point that out. So what the creator of the deck said is actually that you want to farm wins against Warrior and Warlock because they are so easy to kill. And then the other matchups, you just kind of trade evenly with them and you'll win some, you'll lose some. But the whole objective is that there's so many Warriors and Warlocks right now is you're just supposed to just smash them and that's that. So what do I think about this deck? This deck is hilarious. And it's really quite smart. So many of these things synergize with each other. Like the Hobgoblin synergizes with over half the deck with the Unleash the Hounds. The Boom Bots from Dr. Boom, I believe. I haven't tested it, but I believe they activate it. They activate the Hobgoblin. Jeeves is activated. Unleash the Hounds is activated. Uh, Annoyatron and Haunted Creepers. Cogmaster, Argent Squire, all of these are activated just by this one card so and it's only three mana so it's not a great card by itself but with the rest of the deck it's great glaive makes all of the weak things just a little bit stronger 
and it also helps you trade into some things early, quick shot, your hand is going to be empty really soon, really fast, and very often. So having the extra card draw from that is perfect. And if you're in a point where you're losing, you do have an out in this deck, and that is Dr. Boom. If you're in a bad spot and it's late game and you haven't quite got the win yet, Dr. Boom can flip the game. Dr. Boom is a very strong card. So overall, I really, really enjoy Mech Hunter. This is a really funny deck, and I'll probably keep playing with it here and there. Anyways, my name is Nagark, and thank you for watching.